So let's talk next about importing objects to ARCHICAD. Uh, this is really important, something to consider. Uh, this is our um, tip of the week. And with importing objects, we have objects in ARCHICAD, right? So you've got different objects that you use uh, for different purposes. And so, you know, whether it's for windows or whether it's for um, our uh, gutters or structural or whatever, these are objects that are internal to ARCHICAD. So objects in ARCHICAD are lean and mean because they have parameters to them that allows ARCHICAD to work very efficiently. Uh, what starts to occur is we import objects, we can slow things down and change things, but we also have, oh, sorry, when we import objects, we have more options for um, objects on the web that people have designed, but sometimes those objects can also bring in problems like high polygon counts, which I'll talk about in a second, and other issues as well. So one of the areas, or one of the um, uh, options we have to access other GDL objects that um, are developed specifically for ARCHICAD is BIMcomponents.com. BIM Components is developed by Graphsoft. It's similar to the 3D Warehouse, which is developed for SketchUp. And this allows you to access ARCHICAD objects that are efficient. And some of these are available, you know, um, uh, that you may recognize that are already in ARCHICAD. Uh, and then there are many, many others that are, that are um, post it by either ARCHICAD users or BIMobject.com that are part of this as well. So there are manufacturer objects in here in addition to user objects. There's also a 3D warehouse. So SketchUp, uh, you can basically go and import in a SketchUp object natively uh, using the SAP format. So you can go into 3D warehouse, you can download that, that SketchUp object. And then in ARCHICAD, you can go file and uh, merge or open that SKP format, and then it will actually convert that SketchUp uh, model file uh, into an ARCHICAD GDL file. One thing to always recognize is that while most SketchUp objects that come in really aren't too bad because they're fairly simple surface-based type models, there can be some that you can bring in that can be very complicated. So again, like anything, it could slow down your file if it's a very high polygons type, type object. Uh, one of the things that you want to watch out for whenever you're inside of, of a 3D warehouse is just that you can, you know, use their complexity option to kind of, you know, when you're doing searches to um, define, you know, not to have a highly complex objects or uh, to look at those objects before you import it. Modeler is another really good resource. If you've not used it before, um, it's at uh, modeler.com. They have, uh, you know, ARCHICAD objects in addition to Revit. Bentley, Vectorworks, and other types of objects in here. But they actually do have a lot of ARCHICAD objects. So this is a really good, good one to, to look at. And if, even if it is just a, you pull up something, it's only in Revit, of course, you can uh, download that as well. And even SketchUp formats. So uh, this is a, a really good resource. BIM Object is a fantastic resource. So BIM Object was developed by uh, several people out of Graphsoft who left Graphsoft to develop this particular company. They started in Europe, so they were first really heavy on the ARCHICAD side because obviously they came out of Graphsoft and, our, and Europe is a much heavier ARCHICAD market. And so there was a much more dominant focus uh, for ARCHICAD when it first began. Uh, they have recently, in the last couple of years, acquired, um, I forgot what it was called, but it's basically an uh, 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 Autodesk version of BIMobject.com. Uh, that they had and they acquired that library database, which then allowed them to have a lot more um, Revit and AutoCAD and, and Autodesk formatted objects, uh, manufacturer objects in their system. So now it's, it's a combination, I would say, of uh, predominantly Revit and ARCHICAD objects with also SketchUp and some others mixed in. Again, if you bring up a, you know, you go to an object like this that you want to download and it's only Revit, no problem because, you know, ARCHICAD does have an RFA uh, add-on now that you can download and install to ARCHICAD. And then, of course, uh, if it's a SketchUp format, you can just download that. Or if it's a Revit, excuse me, an ARCHICAD format, then you download it, you're ready to go. Oh, one more thing. Uh, BIM objects um, are also uh, the only uh, manufacturer uh, library that's actually internal to BIMcomponents.com. So if you go to BIMcomponents and search not in 
you know, in ARCHICAD, you can open up the object settings and you can search within the object settings to BIM components. But if you really want to search the BIM object library, you really need to either go into BIM components and search there to make sure you get a wider breadth of, of objects um, and uh, or into uh, BIM objects or comp. If you've not uh, downloaded the RFA uh, add-on, uh, an RVT add-on for ARCHICAD, uh, this is where you would go for that. You can basically uh, choose your country down here, download that, and install that. This isn't required. It's not a default in ARCHICAD like SKP is. So uh, just go to Grousehouse website, and you can download this add-on. There's also model port. If you are bringing in um, SKP files, now understand model port does not bring in native SKP files. Uh, this is an add-on to ARCHICAD. You can get it off our website. Uh, but if you don't, and that's at, at archvista.com, if you um, um, want to bring in SKP formats, then you will download the DAE format, okay, which is so an, on the 3D warehouse, they have two format options that you can use. Uh, download objects in either in a SKP, and there's various years of SKP that they have, and then also DAE, which is their universal format. And so if you want to download and use model port, uh, or just, if you want to download uh, SketchUp objects from the three warehouse, use this format, and then this will allow you to use the controls of model port. So what model port does is it allows you to have a visual editor of objects so that you can bring, before you import those ARCHICAD, you can view them in uh, 3D elevation and top view, and it allows you to edit the materials, it allows you to edit the lines, the line, the pin settings, pin weights, uh, it, and, 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 and other types of material options in here. Even the visibility of the layer. So for example, let's say in this particular one that I imported in, I did not want this top piece here as a connection. I could actually, that's on a layer, I could turn that off uh, because I have control, you see these little eyes in here. Um, I have control over various elements in here that I can turn off. That's something you could not do if you just imported that in as a SKP object, unless you convert it into a morph, in which case, once you convert it to a morph, it becomes a very high polygon count that's even higher than the GDL object. The other thing that's really important about model port is it does allow you to control polygon count. It has a polygon um, 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 uh, editor inside, so it allows you to do polygon, polygon count reduction, and this can be huge because this is a good example where this just this chair, which came in from, I forgot where it was, but basically chair has 106,000 polygons. When it came using model port, we reduced that down to 41,000. So uh, basically, uh, you know, 60% reduction in, um, in your polygon count. That's huge if you've got a big file. And so, uh, you know, it, and it still looks the same. If I were to put the side by side uh, in 3D, you would not see much of a difference.